Vicky, also known as Dragonfly7673. You're watching Dragonfly Soars. Today is Monday, September 16th, and it's about 5.20. Um, I say about, and it's exactly 5.20. <laughs> anyway, I don't have a whole lot to talk about this time. Um, there are things coming up. Um, this week I am at home. Next week I am working from my parents' house for mom's house for a few reasons. My son has some appointments I need to be there. And then that following Saturday on the 28th I will be in Beloit for the alpaca days. Um, in October hopefully I'm going to China and November is knitting in the mitten. So in the next several weeks are just packed. I actually had made a calendar for uh, best friend and mom that showed where I was going to be at different spots. Um, but as far as this week, this week, I don't know, for the first several days I had almost no knitting mojo at all. Like I'd come home and I'd kind of look at my knitting but I didn't actually pull it out and I didn't pull it out really at work either which was unusual because the previous week I had been talking to you about how much I was really enjoying my projects. So, anyway, uh, but I do have a finished item. So, I did buckle down on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, so I have some things to show you. Now, I told you guys about how I wanted to learn Entrelac this year, and this was my Entrelac cowl for my, that's also for my Sapphire project for September. And it is, I didn't, I realized, there, I've got some pictures of this too. Um, I realized part way through that I was not doing it exactly the same way that she was um, in the Craftsy video. In the Craftsy video, well, for one thing in the Craftsy video, she was doing two colors. So every time, every time you had a, a uh, rectangle going that way, it was turquoise, and a rectangle going that way was yellow, I think, something like that. So she was actually on each tier, she changed colors, so she actually cut the yarn. Um, and when you end, you're kind of in the wrong spot to turn around and go the other direction, if you're going in the round like this. Well, I just knit an extra row, and I was where I needed to be, and life went on for that, for the first one. So on my seam line my triangles are actually just a tad longer than the rest of them. But you can't tell. And it was much better than weaving in a whole lot of ends. All I had to do was weave in the top and the bottom. Maybe the... I don't know. <laughs> anyway, but it's done. I liked it. This yarn was Red Heart. Um, it's in their boutique line. It's called Unforgettable. So it's a slow color changing yarn. Uh, I thought it worked perfect for this project. It is uh, an acrylic, but it worked great for this. So I'm really happy with how it came out. And I will stop and put pictures in here. All right, my other sapphire project was has been spinning roll logs onto my new Turkish spindle. And to be honest, I have only done one roll log out of eight. Um, so I do have, I finished one the other day and I took it off the Turkish spindle which worked perfectly and this little cake. Um, but I'm struggling with the weight of the Turkish spindle. It really wants to keep, it really wants to turn back the other direction well before I'm ready. Like I want to draft long because that's what I could do on my Highland Handmaids and I can only do short ones, which I'm sure it's because it's a little one, but I want to go further. So I'm going to do another row log on this one. I don't know, I don't think I'm going to do all of these on this one, which I know I was going to do this for the um, yarn raising podcast, my something new. I was missing. That's my something new. But 
I think unless this next roll on goes much better, I am not going to try and do that. Um, I did run into a problem where, and I don't know if I'll run into it on another roll on or not, where a this is a bunch of different fibers drum carded together. Well, I ran into a batch that was pure silk, um, dark blue silk, and that just like wanted to come apart, come apart, come apart. I fought with it a lot. Um, I, I got it, and I kind of what I would do is I'd end up almost like finger carding it. Like I'd actually take it and blend it with another section of the roll of to mix it with something that had more grip. Um, it worked. Um, like I said, I don't know if I'm going to do all of these on the Turkish spindle. I may actually switch to something else. But that was my other sapphire project. Um, just to remind you, the prize for, sa for September sapphire. Lovely bag. Skein of yarn. Oops, which I've untangled. I will wrap it up. A tin. And blue sapphire stitch markers. They're not really sapphire stitch markers. They're rubber washers, but, you know, they're blue for the month. So, and this was donated by Nikki, who is living for fishing. So, my other project that I've worked on is my Silent Goal shawl, which I have worked on. I don't remember exactly where it was last time, but uh, this, you know, every, like, brown pink section is 10 rows. This one was 9 and 1, 8 and 2, 7 and 3, um, and it keeps going. Well, right now I'm, I gotta do one more pink row, and then I got one more chunk to do, and then this side of the shawl will be finished. So, that's going along really well. Today, I actually knit on it more this weekend, and uh, once I got into it, I was like knitting away because it's it's all garter stitch. And aside from a little bit of counting, which isn't very much, um, it's really easy. So I, I just like I said, I just didn't have a lot of knitting mojo last week, and I I couldn't tell you why. But I'm gonna post pictures here of the Turkish spindle and the shawl. Alright, now remember, I warned you this was going to be short. <laughs> the last thing I have for you, um, Steve of Dramatic Knits, um, and I've been watching Dramatic Knits podcast since the very beginning. Um, I was one of the first uh, donators to the podcast, and um, early on he made me a pair of socks. So, I mean, I've been watching forever. Well, he and his leading man, because the whole podcast is theater-based, he and his leading man have started a fiber arts company. And so it is called Leading Men Fiber Arts, Center Stage for Color. And I have, I've been trying to be supportive of different people who are trying to, to branch out, um, but I hadn't picked up anything from them yet. And I still have to, somewhere I have Knitter's Nightmare, and I want to show you, and I don't know where it is. I want to knit it too. Um, but I got their uh, lace weight uh, merino silk is called Ghost Light is the base and this colorway is Fuzzy Navel. It's 875 yards for 100 grams. This one's Fuzzy Navel and this is the one that was posted on Plurk that got me. This is Sangria. Um, same base. My idea is to do a project with these together because I think they're absolutely perfect together. Um, this actually has little bits of orange in it. So they're just, they're kettle dyed. So they got little mixes of stuff in them. But I'm really happy for them and I really like those. I don't have a project. You guys know I have a bunch of lace weight. But like I said, I think I want to do those, do those into something together. Like, I think I actually would um, do them as if they were a gradient and, like, do pick a color and then eventually uh, mix the colors. 
and, and then end on the other color. But I don't know why. But having two of them means that I have almost 1,800 yards. It means I can do a big shawl. Anyway, that's really it. <laughs> We're, I, I'm so sorry this is so short. Um, I'm trying to think what else I have. Oh, I know something else I can tell you. I bought, um, I got a couple things. I got a, um, a fit desk, which is a desk that's also an exercise bike. So you can, they're made so that you can actually even have them in offices and use it as your desk so that you just keep pedaling and you're exercising while you're working. They also put them in some schools for the same reason that it's incredibly quiet. Um, but I just got it. Um, best friend put it together and then I used it the other day for the first time while uh, watching Project Runway. So I, it was very nice to use and it has all different resistance. So I will show you a picture. The picture is going to look weird because it's um, folded folded up. I mean it, does, it doesn't take up a huge footprint but then it also collapses a little bit so it takes up smaller space. Um, so the picture is that way, so like the seat's down and it's, I mean, if you looked at it, you would kind of go, how would you sit on that? Well, that's because it's closed. But I'll show you that. And now I'm just waiting for the new iPhone to come out because I actually have uh, money in Apple gift certificates. And this would be the first time I was able to do, get anything like on the leading edge, <laughs> so to speak. So. I want to get the new iPhone 5S. Now I have a 4. So for me, going from a 4 to a 5S, that should be a really big leap. Um, I actually watched the live event be online because of the fact that I wanted, was curious. Normally I don't care. I just wait and get the key parts later. Um, but it, for me, it will have much better processor, better camera. It'll have Bluetooth, so I'll actually be able to use it with my Fitbit, which right now I can't. Um, I don't actually log my weekend walks on time uh, because of the fact that I'd have to log into the computer to do it. I just catch up on Monday. Um, so there, um, it has the fingerprint sensor, which I'm not don't care about one way or the other. I know it's a new biometric thing, but I, I'm i not concerned about it. <laughs> For one thing, they said you don't have to use it. Um, I don't know. Just like I said, for me, that will be a big jump. So it has a bigger screen from what I have. It has a better camera from what I have. So I am hoping to order it first thing Friday and maybe pick it up. Um, I'll have to see because if I can't pick it up that day, I may not be able to get it because I'm going to go see Mom and my son next week. So I will talk to you guys all later. Because I'm going there next week, I am not sure how or when I'm going to record, if I'm going to record next week. Um, I'm hoping to. For one thing, we finally reached 300 members. We are this slow and steady podcast. Um, there are 300 members in the Revelry group now, so I would like to do a member drawing, and I meant to grab the spreadsheet today from Ravelry, and I did not, so I'm not even going to try and do it right now. Um, but I will do that next week. So I will talk to you guys all later. I'm going to go have dinner. Bye now.